So I've been getting emails like every single day from Chick-fil-A um, for like various free things. And um, only today did it occur to me that they are doing 12 days at Christmas. Because I was looking at it, I was like, man, this has been going on for like 10 days. And then it just dawned on me like, oh, they're doing 12 days at Christmas. So obviously we haven't come every single day, but it's a huge incentive whenever you get a thing in your inbox and it's like today only get this for free and it's like oh I like that and if we have to come out shopping and we have to choose a restaurant probably gonna choose Chick-fil-A although to be fair we probably would have chosen Chick-fil-A anyway how are you feeling Mel? you doing good? I know that I, a little bit of. I know that you got the soup uh-huh you just have a little congestion but mostly better will you be better by Christmas? Hopefully. By the way, hello and welcome to Saturday. I'm um, going to be doing a recording tonight of GTA. We already did our, our monthly GTA, but we're going to be doing a, a different recording because once a year, uh, Los Santos is covered in snow and we've never managed to actually record it. So this is the year we're going to record it. So even though most people aren't in town, because everyone left for Christmas, there's still going to be a few people around, even if it's just me, you, and Josh. Um, so we're gonna throw some snowballs. So that's that's really what I'm looking forward to today. Um, there's other work to do. We've, we're out because we have to do some shopping. We gotta get stuff so Mal can make an apple pie. Um, but I really just want to throw snowballs. Oh, are you gonna make any other pies? Did you consider doing a chocolate pie? I considered it, but your mom said that she really likes pumpkin, so. Oh, you're doing pumpkin. Okay, yeah, that's good. I don't actually know when Mal is going to get to the pie making um, probably tomorrow but she might start tonight if she feels like it um, we also got Mal's uh, Majora's Mask painting video out and uh, people really like it I don't know what it is about the Zelda paintings every single Zelda painting always does really well like everyone loves the Zelda paintings so uh, this one's the same situation people are really uh, really into it, which is good. Fantastic. That stuff's unloaded. Not put away, but at least it's not in the bag. Man, I really love that painting. I mean, that is just... It's a really, really big fan of, uh, of that work. Anyway, um, it's a few hours later now, and uh, we just finished playing what I'm gonna call Grand Theft Snow because it is a winter wonderland in the world of Grand Theft Auto Online. And it was really cool. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have a huge group tonight to do it. Um, that video is probably already out on Steven Plays by now, but um, it was just me, Mal, Chaz, and Paul. Uh, but it was also kind of fun having a, a small group again. The dynamic between everyone and what you're doing in the game changes drastically when you have a smaller group. So it was kind of fun to, to do things that you wouldn't be able to do you know, when you have like 8 to 10 or 12 people and you're trying to wrangle all those people. But the world is completely different. It's the same, I mean, it's the same world, but everything's covered in snow. And the world is so big and so detailed that just walking around and seeing everything in this, you know, winter landscape is really neat. And they've been doing this for several years now, but this is the first time, for one, that we've ever recorded it, but also that we've ever played it. Ever. I've always missed out on doing it. And this is the first year that we've ever been super consistent on GTA. GTA came out every single month this year. That was the goal. The goal was to release um, an episode the first Saturday of every month in 2017, and we did it. And I owe, you know, so much of that to Dan, because Dan is the one editing the, the, that series. But um, that was the goal. So we made sure every month to record a new episode, and we did, and we got it edited, and we got it released, and um, it's been a good feeling bringing that series kind of back from the dead, because that started in 2013. Um, that, that game and that series has been around for four years, and the GTA Online series, the releases from us, have been super inconsistent until this year. This was the first year where we you know, kind of knuckled down and said, we're going to release it every single month. So we're going to do it. And we did it. 
and uh, I'm just I'm really proud of the fact that we were able to do that. But because we've been so inconsistent in the past, we have missed this you know winter version of Los Santos, and it was really cool being able to see it. Now the the landscape itself is the only major change. Um, you know the the cars respond to that snow um, because they had already programmed the snow into the game anyway. Because this you play. The pr in the prologue of the single player, you know, for a very small amount of time, you are in this winter area. So they had already programmed snow, so they just covered the entire map in it. Um, but there's snowballs, like at any point you can press a button and you, you reach down and you make snowballs and you can throw them at, you know, your friends or the police and then the police get out of their cop cars and they shoot you to death. Uh, <laughs> just like real life. So it was a really... It was a really interesting um, experience. They also have put a ton of holiday clothing into the game. And it's all free, which is really, really nice. Uh, you just go into any store and there's like a hundred holiday tops. Like the ugliest sweaters you can imagine. And uh, they're only available at this time of year, but if you buy them, then you have them. So, you know, all of us just went into the stores and bought everything because it was free. And then we'll have that for later if we ever want to to wear that in the future. There was a Santa outfit, and it was free, so, you know, I got the Santa outfit, and that's what I wore in the video, and I thought that was super fun, so, yeah, there was just all sorts of, um, you know, really interesting, cool things that were uh, free and just kind of um, got you in the spirit of the season. It was, it was really nice. GTA Online has a very bad reputation, and I think it's earned it um, because of the high cost of everything. Um, a lot of people have kind of looked down on Rockstar because uh, they feel that they are no longer interested in pursuing things like story-based DLC, which is, you know, largely true because they're too busy making a ton of money from shark cards and all of this content that they put in the game that, yes, the content is free, but it costs in-game currency that is, you know, growing at an exponential rate. Like, to get the cool new stuff, you got to play a long time. So it's a lot easier to just, you know, feed feed it uh, real, real money so you can get the in-game toys. Um, but, you know, if, if you're not super obsessed with owning the latest tank or the latest jet, there is a lot of fun to be had in that game. I mean, seriously, getting some friends, hanging out, just driving around, doing dumb stuff, um, it's, it's a really good time. And tonight was was no exception. Uh, if you got a chance to play around either this year or a previous year in the the winter GTA Online mode, um, talk about it. You know, maybe you did something fun or interesting, or maybe you just got the really, like, the worst looking sweater that you've ever seen just so you could wear it all year round. That's, I think that's worth discussion. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for today. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve, which for one is crazy, but also means that it's pie making day. Mal didn't get a chance to make the pies today, which means that she's going to be making the pies, including the apple pie, which is amazing, um, tomorrow. So that's going to be the agenda for tomorrow, and then Monday is Christmas. Everything's happening very quickly. Were you on the table? You're not allowed to be on the table. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we?